Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Kanda Proto, and I'm here today to bring you an updated version of a previous video I'd done about listening to Spotify on stream. So about a year or so ago, I released a video covering how to play Spotify on stream without getting your VOD muted. Unfortunately, there were some parts I didn't go as in depth on as I should have, which led to a lot of questions in the comments, as well as some parts that I didn't really understand at the time that I can now give a better look into how to set up to make sure that everything gets set up right, right off the bat. So this video is going to be broken down into a couple of parts. The first part is I'm going to show you how to add the actual audio sources. The second part we're going to do is setting up the advanced audio settings to keep the music on the live stream, but keep it off of the VOD to avoid being muted. After that, I'm going to go over how you can still play the audio from your alerts because you will not have a desktop audio capture set up, but you still want people to hear your raid alerts, your follow alerts, bits alerts, stuff like that. And then the last part I'm going to go over is how to set up a Spotify widget that's going to show everyone what you're currently listening to on stream. So before we get into it, you can like and subscribe. It would help me a ton. Um, I'm trying to do more OBS tutorials on the side here and there to help people stuff I've learned over the years. And also I will have the video timestamp. So if there's a specific part from what I just mentioned that you're looking for, you can just jump straight to it. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the first part, setting up the actual audio sources. All right, so we're here on a fresh new screen. Um, the only thing I have set up is the captures I need for the program so that you can see what I'm doing and audio input capture for my voice. We have nothing else. So what we're going to do here is make sure you do not have a desktop audio capture source. That was one of the biggest issues I had is I did not cover the fact that you need to delete the desktop audio source or it will capture your Spotify in addition to the single audio source that we're going to set up, which will lead to your VOD being muted because it will show up in the VOD. So the first part we're going to do right here is we're going to go down to sources. Go down to the plus. We're going to add a new source. We're going right here to application audio capture beta. Click on that. And we'll go ahead and name this one test. I already have a Spotify one set up, but we'll name this one test just to show you how it works. So from there, you're going to get this window. And it's, it's, it's the same as setting up any other, uh, you know, visual capture source in OBS. You're going to click right here. Scroll down to what you're trying to capture. We're trying to capture Spotify premium. Boop, and then hit OK. Now Spotify premium is on here. Obviously, I'm not going to play it because YouTube will take my video up back and put it down in a heartbeat. <laughs> Twitch might mute your VODs. YouTube will destroy my video if I play Spotify. I guess we could uh, actually play some DMCA free music. All right, so we have some DMCA free music playing right now. Let me, you should be able to hear it. Turn it down a little. So you can see right here we have audio. The test, remember the test audio source is the one I made to capture the Spotify. So now we have that in, we have our audio input capture in. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and add a game source in. I will add my game source in. And then let me go ahead and pull a game up so we can see how the two sources are. All right, so we now have a game open. So we're going to right click on game properties. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna select Heart of Crown. Boom, and you will now see we have audio for our game and audio for our test, which is our Spotify one. The next step we wanna do is we want to go to File and then go to Settings. From here, we're gonna go over to Output. Make sure you have Output Mode set to Advance. Right here under Streaming, you're going to see Audio Track and Twitch VOD Track. Make sure that Twitch VOD track is selected. You will see the dots right here. Audio track is going to be what shows up on your stream. So audio track, make sure you select one. Go right here to Twitch VOD track, select two. Make sure one is unselected. It should automatically do it when you select two. Make sure two is the only one selected and make sure audio track is one. 
what that means is on stream people are going to hear everything on audio track one on the vod though they're only going to hear everything on audio track two you'll hit apply and you'll hit okay what we want to do next is you want to click these three dots right here and go to advanced audio properties now right here you'll see game and test what we want to do is come on over here we want to make sure game is on one and two that way the viewers can hear it and it shows up on the vod spotify however we want the viewers to hear it but we don't want it on the vod so we'll leave one selected so it's on the live stream we will uncheck two so it will not show up on the vod after that we hit close so now we have it set up that when you stream, they can hear the music, the game, and whatever else you create an individual audio source for. But when it comes to the VOD, all you will hear is the game, the other audio sources you set up, but not Spotify because we unselected the VOD mark, the VOD check mark. All right. So the next thing we're going to do here is an issue a lot of people had. Let me go ahead and close this game out. We don't need extra audio anymore. Um, this is an issue a lot of people had, and they were asking me how to deal with it. Honestly, at the time, I wasn't 100% sure because I hadn't messed around with it too much. But now I'm going to show you how you can still get the audio from your browser sources, such as alerts. Um, if you have like sound alerts for redeems, rate alerts, bid alerts, uh, follower alerts, stuff like that, you still want to get the audio from it. But without a desktop audio capture source, it's not going to natively capture it anymore. You're going to have to go in and do it yourself. So we're going to hit plus right here. We're going to go to browser source. I'm going to go ahead, add existing. I'm going to add alert box two. Now, when I add it, you will see there is now an alert box audio bar right here. It does not come like that. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add the browser source or your sound alerts or whatever else. Right click on it go to properties once you're in properties click on control audio via obs once you do that you will hit okay and now you will have your own audio source in obs for the different alerts i will go ahead and play one of mine right now to kind of show you that even without a desktop audio capture source you're still going to get the sound from it So you can see the audio popped up under alert box too. Obviously you can adjust how loud you want it to be. And I would highly recommend before you do your stream, you go in, you set up your game, you set up your Spotify, you play the music and you slide the bars around to find where you want your optimal volume to be. Because it's not going to be what you hear in your headphones. It will be different because these are individual audio sources. You are going to have to go in here and slide these around. I definitely recommend hit record, play the Spotify, play the game, play your alerts, all that good stuff. Hit stop record, see what's too loud and what's too quiet, and then adjust them like that. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and go into one of the ones I had the most amount of questions about, and that was how I captured Spotify on the screen. At the time, I was using a window capture. I did not explain that, though, so a lot of people didn't know. But since then, I have found a much better program to use to capture your Spotify. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add this source in. It's called Amuse by 6K Labs. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to their website in the description. It's a very quick sign up on the website, and then you get access to it. It walks you through step by step how to set up and connect it with your Spotify. And then once you're done with that, your final result is going to look something like this. Boom. It's going to look like that. It's going to, there's different layouts you can do. This is the one I went with. It changes colors based on like the album color theme. It's got the time at the bottom, the artist, the song, a little tracker bar. The album cover, every, I mean, it's one of the most clean looking ones I've seen yet. I like to, you know, make it a little bit smaller and put it down here in the bottom right hand corner of my stream so everyone can see what we're listening to. 
but it's by far the best Spotify widget that I found so far. And I, I'm loving it so far. I haven't had any issues. It looks great. Um, even smaller in a corner like that, it's still easy to read. So that is how you set everything up for the individual audio capture sources. Set it up so Spotify is not captured on your VOD, leading to muted VODs. That's also how you can make sure you hear your alerts and show everyone what you're listening to. If there was anything I missed, or if you have any questions, maybe something I didn't think about, please let me know down below. I will do my best to respond to everyone's questions as I have done before to try and help you. Um, if it's not working for you, I will try and walk you through what might be going wrong. I've done it before for people. At the end of the day, I really just want to help people get this set up because playing your music on stream can add another level of personality, personalization that people can, you know, oh, I, hey, I like that song too. Or you can set up something cool like song requests. People can request songs to play. It's music is a great, great tool when it comes to streaming. Um, and unfortunately, if you play copyright music on your stream, your VOD will be muted unless you set it up like this. Again, I'm Conda Proto. Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, it would mean the world if you could like and subscribe. We're getting very close to a thousand followers, a thousand followers, subscribers. I forget which platform I'm on. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate everyone so far. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know down below and have yourself a great day.